<laughs> what's going on? I want you to help me with my hip, my groin. Okay. It's been bothering me, and I think I, I think I think I got hip impingement. Okay. And there was nothing specific that brought it on. You just started to feel it. No, it just started. It was uh, it was not, no particular incident. Okay. It just started to bother me when I was doing some lunges. Okay. Can you show me some of the movements that were hurting you? Yeah, like, um, I probably won't hurt today because I'm here, but. So like lunges, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I was noticing when I was getting tired, it would, I was my knee was caving a little bit, mm -hmm. and it started to bother me inside here. Okay. How about your squatting? Uh, squatting, I think it's okay. Not too bad. My knees crack a lot. Not feeling the groin here though. I don't feel it here no. Okay. And then how about arms above you? Does that change anything you're feeling? My knees crack less, but I go don't go as far down. Perfect. So right now groin's okay, but usually with those two things it bothers you. Yes. Uh, especially the lunge. Especially the lunge. Okay, so let's start first with just a little skin rolling to see if it helps. Okay. okay. So what I want you to do is grab right where you feel your pain most of the time. Grab onto the skin and just wiggle it in different directions. Maybe move your hip around a little bit. It's going to feel like the skin wants to pull out of your fingers. Try not to let it. Yeah, it's pretty tender. Okay. Any tender spots I want you to just hang out with for a little extra long, longer, <laughs> whatever the proper grammar is for that. Pull in different directions and kind of follow the hip crease up and do the same thing. Okay. And then you're going to find the bone on the side of your hip here. Grab and wiggle. There we go. And then follow that around to your low back too. And if we can just turn to show the camera where that's going to be. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in all different directions. So we probably want to spend a minute or two trying to pull in all of those spots. And then we'll get up and we'll retest. You can try that lungy again. We're not looking for perfect. We're looking to see, did that change your hip pain at all? Yeah, it feels, feels a bit better. Like, it's not as pinchy. Okay. I don't know if people ever say that. It's like, it, now it feels more, like, stiff mm -hmm. or, you know, yeah. not as intense. It's not the pain that you usually are feeling, but there's something that changed about it, yes? Yeah, there's something there, but it's not as, like, I wouldn't call this as bad as it was. I gotcha. So, ultimately, if skin rolling usually helps, I'm not going to look directly at the hip right away. I think maybe there might be a spinal component to this. So, we're going to pair something with this to go that you're okay. going to go home with, okay? Okay. So, we're going to do a side opener. <clears throat> we want your problem side to be up to the ceiling and this right underneath the obliques here. Beautiful. We'll go arm overhead and start with your knee up here. Good. What do you feel here? Uh, nothing. Awesome. That's exactly what we should be feeling. I don't want you feeling any stretchiness. If you do, it might just be up in here. Nothing down into your problem area or low back, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's roll you forward a little bit and then tuck your ribs into your front pockets and take some breaths into my fingers here. Good. So we usually spend about 30 seconds maybe in this position and then take your knee backwards, drop it to the floor. It's going to let that pelvis open up a little bit more, and we're going to keep breathing right into the fingers here. Ultimately, then the, uh, the knee dropping down to the floor here is going to give us that opening pelvic position we need. Or if you want, if you feel like you have a little bit more, tuck that shoulder under you here. Perfect. It's like you're just creating a nice little rainbow with your side body here. Again, not a whole lot of stretching going on. You should pretty much feel nothing, okay? One to two minutes in this position, breathing deep into the belly, into the waistband of your pants. Let's get up and retest again. <laughs> there you go yeah it feels a lot better a little better mm -hmm. awesome so we don't want, want you to always have to use these first 80 things to get rid of pain how do we keep pain gone for longer periods of time mm -hmm. i think i'm going to pair an abdominal exercise to go with it that'll benefit both the spine and the hip okay, okay. go ahead and lay on your belly for me <sighs> hands to your forehead elbows at the height of your ears oh. here awesome and there's gonna be two points i want you to focus on one at the base of the spine here, and one a little higher up. Can you create distance between those two? Perfect. Relax the booty cheeks here and try to create a little more distance. Awesome job. Keep that and breathe. And let's use your elbows through the floor to push me up. There we go, a little higher here. And everybody at home should be able to see you breathing into your backside here. Good. It's pretty hard. One more breath. It's not that hard if you're talking, right? <laughs> Take a little break. We're going to do this <laughs> one more time. We're looking for percentage of effort, okay? So percentage of effort, 100% being completely fatigued, couldn't even do one more if we tried. We're looking for 60, okay? Go ahead and create that distance again. Awesome job. Up with the elbows. 
Good. Embrace the shake. Get a little higher here. There you go. And breathe. Just breathe and hold until you hate me for it. <laughs> what if and I hate you before I started? Perfect. And then go ahead and get up and retest again. <laughs> How's that feeling? Feels good. I don't feel it at all anymore at all. Beautiful. So those are the first few things I'd probably start you with as far as pain control and a little bit of support we can build around the area. There's a few other exercises I might take you through, but we can start here for about a week. Control the pain with your opener and your skin rolls. Mm -hmm. Get this belly going as a warm up before any exercise or sporting things that you're doing. I think you're going to be fine. You won't feel much of it. And then we'll progress you into maybe some glute stuff, hip dominant things next time. Is um so you said it was maybe back related. So then should I get an MRI for this or? Not necessarily the way you responded today. I don't think there's any reason why we should get an MRI. If going forward from here, you're just not responding the way we want you to, we might dive a little deeper, but you responded so well that I think that we're gonna be okay without imaging. Okay. Perfect. So if you guys are also dealing with something <laughs> like this at home, we do virtuals and you can also come in person if you're around the area. Um, we're offering discovery visits, so you want to talk about it first before committing to anything. We're happy to do a discovery call to talk a little bit more about what's going on. Um, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more videos about hip impingement issues, groin pain, low back pain, whatever you're dealing with, and we'll talk soon.